If you want to find the private, I know where he is. I know where he is. I know where he is. If you want to find the private, I know where he is. He's hanging on the old barbed wire. In terms of developing the design, what you do initially is you read the script several times, mm -hmm. uh, look at all the elements within that and the script requirements, and then also look at the period and the style of the piece, so that not only you're not only considering the period but also the stylistic requirements. But as well as formulating a design response based on artistic factors, we also have to look at the practical factors as well, and these are very specific with Theatre Centre because we have a, a large tour, it's a long tour, going to a, a wide variety of different venues and it's all being toured in a small van. Mm. You have uh, lots of different schools that don't have what we call a blackout, mm. so you can't achieve you know, a full dark mm. stage, so the design has to work both in open school hall lighting and also when lights are added as well. Mm. It all has to be toured uh, by the three actors and the stage manager. It's all some of the get-ins, uh, mm -hmm. which is the term we use to refer to when you get the set into a building, mm -hmm. uh, has to be taken up at two or three flights of stairs. It all has to go in through a door and has to be light enough uh, for two people to lift mm -hmm. and also all be put together within 30 minutes. In terms of the design, some of the elements that I wanted to emphasise were the mud, mm -hmm. uh, which is it's quite a difficult thing to do because, obviously, in, ter in a theatrical reality, you, you can't have you can't tour six tons of mud, uh, <laughs> but we wanted to give a suggestion of that and also the ramshackle shackle nature of where of how the trenches were built, mm -hmm. um, also the, the confined space and to use that stylistically as well to. We used mainly wooden boards to sort of suggest that the characters had not reached a dead end as well in, in terms of their choices so that you can use that naturalistic setting to also bring out things within the script. We also wanted to suggest a world, the world beyond, which is referred to a lot and the characters do a lot of looking out over the top of the trench with binoculars. Yeah. We can't do that realistically, so what I did was frame it within a you know, sort of letterbox shape mm. to look like an old postcard of the, of the period. So for this particular project, my research process was mm. quite specific because it involves a particular time and place, mm. you know, an event that actually happened. So I, I read around the subject mm. with some books, go and visit the Imperial War Museum, but also I use my iPad pretty much all of the time. I download lots of images, it's easy then to collate them, move them around, sh uh, add to them, delete them and share any or all of the images that I need to with the rest of the creative team and with the actors and anybody else who needs them via the medium of Dropbox. Okay, so theatre design by its very nature is a collaborative art form because it's not just my design, it's the director, the writer, the lighting designer, sound designer, and we all come together. Natalie and I have been working together for 15 years, so I guess our collaborative process, our dialogue, mm -hmm. is shorthand. With Jesse, it was important to have a, a conversation with him about what he had in his head, what he, the world that he imagined in his head when he was writing the play. You take that across to all the other members of the creative team as well. And I also then make a model box. And that's a vital communication tool because you have to share your ideas and my vision of the way the world is going to be with all of the other members of the team. And also set builders, scenic artists, all the people that build and make and create that model. You know, I make it at 1 to 25th scale, they make the real thing. And without that model box, it's all just in my head. The costumes for a show like this have to be very specific mm. because uh, all three characters are members of the Durham Light Infantry. So it's a very specific regiment, it's a very specific time. So you have to do some research and make sure that you get that accurate. Uh, but also, you, you can still make small suggestions of, of individuality within that. Uh, you, Jumbo, the character of Jumbo, has different boots. He has softer boots because that just gives him a much sort of more grounded, sort of lower sense of gravity. Uh, the others sort of clip around the stage and he slumps around the stage, which is sort of quite good for his character. One of them has gloves. Uh, Will, the character of Will has gloves and Robbie has a 
a sort of snood with, um, scarf, which I, and both of these things I took directly from photographs of the time.